Okay guys, so here's the overview of Malaya's birthday stuff. This is not all of it, of course, but this is some of the stuff that we will be using for her birthday. So first I'm going to start with her birthday outfit. This is her tutu that I made her. It is a sew tutu. I normally do no sew tutus, but this year I decided to make her a sew tutu. And it has gold and white ribbon trim at the bottom. And that is her tutu. It's a little bent up because we actually took her pictures and she messed up her shirt. But we're going to get to that. So these are the shoes that I made her. These were her old Nike Rochers and they were white. Well, they were, I guess you can say milk chocolate because they weren't white. And I just glittered them all up and put some rhinestones for her birthday outfit. Here is her sequins, sequin jacket. And I got this jacket from H&M. And her birthday shirt that I made that she messed up, she got pink all on it while we were in the midst of taking her pictures because somebody gave her a pink cookie. But luckily she has a jacket, she can cover it up, but I'm not really worried about it. It's a white shirt, it's going to get dirty, but I just wish she would have made it to her party and not just pictures. And these are her shorts that she's going to wear under her tutu. I couldn't find dark purple, so light purple will have to do and this is the t-shirt that I made my mom it says glamma of a princess and then here's mine it says mother of a princess and I made this one as well with a crown on it the table I have another one of these and this is going to be one of her centerpieces and it's going to have balloons attached to it with some tissue paper inside of it coming out the crown some type of way and then she's gonna have balloons attached to this one and the other one and then she's gonna have a centerpiece of a big Sophia balloon and then this is gonna be the runner on the table It's just a gold runner that I got from Amazon and it's probably not even going to fill up the whole table, so I'm going to have to do something with it, like um, shrivel it up or something. I don't know. But I have two of these for um, her centerpieces. And then here are the goodie bags that I made the kids. Clear are for the boys. And then the purple are for the girls. And it just has a, a little small bubble container with candy because that's what kids like they love candy they don't care what else comes with it I also got these little um, crowns it's only five of them but I figured I'd put them on the table and if the kids want to wear them they can but normally they don't like to wear them especially around my last age group I know she doesn't like to keep anything on her head so so I just have some tissue paper, some little, um, I don't know what these are called, but they're the little wands for the princesses or whatever. I'm just going to throw these on the table like confetti, <laughs> nothing. Like this year I'm going to be really simple and not going to make it hard for myself. We're actually having it at a skating rink, so it's not a lot of decorating going on. The um, place is providing they're actually providing a whole table set, but like plates and tablecloths and all that. But I'm going to bring my own plates and stuff just so it can be the thing. But they have purple tablecloths, so I didn't have to buy any. And then I just got these glow sticks since the um, kids will be skating and at the skating ring. I think these are pretty cool to have. And her plates I got from oh and I got those from Dollar Tree and to make her bags I spent like a dollar to make each bag it was like a dollar and ten cents to make each bag so if you're really on a budget this technique all I used was some cello wrap I got clear and I got purple and some ribbon and candy from Walmart I bought two big bags of candy and then I bought um, a three six pack 
of little bubbles from the dollar store and it was a dollar each so I got um, I want to say 16 bubbles for three dollars and then I also bought some other little toys because I made 20 goodie bags so for each person to have a goodie something in their goodie bag other than candy I bought extra stuff I think I bought tattoos stickers and some I don't know what they're called I guess ping pong thingies I don't know what they're called so moving on to the plate set and napkins I got these at party city and they're just a Sophia these are her cake plates and it's a uh, eight count so only eight comes so I got two cake plates two um, larger plate sets and then 16 napkins I don't know how many kids are gonna be at her party we don't know that many kids so probably not a lot but if there are the um, venue put provides plates and stuff if I run out and I just got some purple forks spoons for the cake and this was from the Dollar Tree and to sit her cake I got this little bedazzled DIY party um, cake stand you can put something under it to lift it up but I don't know yet if I want to do that or if I just want to let it sit on the table so that's up for debate and this is um oh I had this already so yeah but in it's silver and her party's gold but I thought it was cute enough to hold her cake so yeah and then these are just the rest of the goodie bags that I made in this bag to take and of course her party frame that I made her for her birthday so this is just what I have right now when I set up her party which is this weekend I'll definitely definitely do a video of an overview of how I set it up and have everything for you guys to see but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching bye